I'm Autumn and this is the Furniture Flippers Guide. So today, are you ready? We are making over a front door. We will be taking it from bland and blah to new and classic and gorgeous. So stick with me. I will show you all my best tips and tricks for painting a front door. And we also find a very unexpected guest. You'll see, not fun. But here we go, I'm excited. So today I'm going to be working on this door. I'm going to be giving it a makeover and we're going to go a color that I'm not really comfortable with. I'm really excited about it, but it's not a neutral. So let's try it out. All right, so I got this easy liquid sander deglosser. Um, I broke the lid off, which is awesome, but I got started using it. It is to take the shine and kind of be a sander where you don't actually have to sand a piece. It takes all that gloss off. Um, yeah, I started without my gloves and glasses, but I figured it out. So here we go. Safely, we're going to degloss this door and make it to where it is much easier to paint on. Next, let's tape this sucker off and protect the glass a little bit more. I'm sure that I will get some paint on the glass because I tend to get paint everywhere, all over myself, all over everything. But hey, I'll teach y'all exactly how to get it off if you get it on the glass in just a little while. So stick with me for that. And let's tape off the hardware as well. Um, do your pets feel like they need to be in the middle of everything? That's what mine do. I'm also taping off the door on the other side here because I'm not gonna be painting the back side of my door. And guess what happens? <laughs> Look what I found. I found a dead frog in my door. Ugh, poor Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> I did not handle it well. Alright y'all, so I'm about to get started. I'm going to sand the door down. I'm going to do it from inside my house because it is hot outside. So um, we'll get started. I'll sand it down, wipe it down, and then we'll start painting. Okay, so I'm sanding for extra adhesion because I didn't prime the door. So the deglosser and the sanding is going to give that the perfect way to adhese. Adhese is not a word. I'm in it here. All right, so this shows you the direction I'll be painting. This will help to decrease brush strokes and to make the paint look very smooth on the door. The paint I'm using is Annie Sloan and it is their satin brand. It is amazing and it has a built-in top coat. So I did not prime my door, um, but I would prime it if I was going from a dark color to a light color. But since I'm going from light to dark, I'm not worried about priming. I painted the details first, as you can see, it's not perfect, and that's not what I'm going for. This is the first coat, and it does not need to be perfect. You will see that it is pretty rough looking. So I'm painting in the direction of those arrows that I showed you, up and down on the sides, and side to side in the middle. If you enjoy all of these furniture flips, DIYs, all the fun tips that I've got, be sure and subscribe to my channel because I have new things coming and oh my gosh, I'm so excited for y'all to see it. I said, Please do not judge anything by the first coat. 
I almost had a heart attack when I saw this and I paint furniture all the time, but this just looked rough. I promise it's gonna get better. Okay, so let's get started on the second coat. And what I did was just go in the same exact spots in the same exact direction. It's already looking so much better. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. I have a business called Prayed Over Pieces and I would love for you to go follow me there and check out that for more furniture flips and tips. All right, do you feel better now? Because I certainly do. <laughs> this part is the most satisfying. I put one more coat on and let it dry. Then I decided to take the tape off. My puppy tried to steal it. And then as you knew, I was gonna have a little bit of paint on the glass. So I used this window scraper and it gets paint off of glass so easily. Be very careful, use some Windex with it and it will slide right off. All right, are y'all ready for the reveal of my quick, easy door makeover? Here it is, look at that. Now remember, if you don't have a paint that has a built-in sealant, it's always good to seal your pieces. And if you are going from dark to light, it's a good idea to prime it. If you love this makeover, be sure and subscribe and like. And I can't wait to see you next time on the Furniture Flippers Guide. As always, thanks for being here and let's keep learning together.